Snorlax is one of the most classic Pokemon of all time, but unfortunately, it hasn't been considered good competitively in several years. But when I heard that Snorlax was going to be added to Scarlet and Violet in the Teal Mask DLC, I knew I had to give it a shot. Reason being, Snorlax really didn't benefit at all from Dynamax, but it seems like Terrestrialization should be quite a bit better for it. So I decided to enter a huge 500 person online tournament. This would be a tough challenge. Many other top players were competing and I'd need to win 7 out of my 9 rounds to advance to the final bracket. But if Snorlax is as good as I think it is, it should be able to do it. Snorlax has the move Belly Drum, which cuts its HP in half, but maxes out its attack stat. With the Citrus Berry, Snorlax is able to recover 25% of that missing health. I gave Snorlax a moveset of Protect, Belly Drum, Facade, and High Horsepower. Facade is only a little weaker than Body Slam, which is the other alternative, but it prevents Snorlax from getting weakened by a burn, and at plus 6 attack, Snorlax probably KOs everything anyway. High Horsepower let me still damage Ghost types, so I wasn't completely walled by them. I gave Snorlax enough attack to probably KO Amoongus with plus 6 Facade, Max this defense since it's way lower than a special defense, and put the rest in special defense with one point in HP to let Belly Drum activate Citrus Berry. Snorlax has three usable abilities, but in the end, I decided on Thick Fat. Gluttony can allow Snorlax to eat a berry that restores 8% more HP than Citrus, but for only 8%, I thought Citrus Berry and two more resistances was better. I chose a Terra type of Water because I thought it was important to resist Urshifu Rapid Strike, and Water is the best defensive type that can do that. With Snorlax as the main focus, I next decided I wanted to use the new Pokemon Sinistra. Sinistra has a ridiculous ability called Hospitality, which heals its partner by 25% of their max HP every single time it switches in. And 25% is the exact amount of health that Snorlax is missing after a Belly Drum and a Citrus Berry. It has a signature move called Macha Gacha that not only works like a Giga Drain that hits both targets, it also has a chance to burn them. Additionally, it has Trick Room, which is amazing with Snorlax since Snorlax is so slow, and Rage Powder, which can protect Snorlax from threats. The last move I decided on was Strength Sap, which heals Sinistra for the amount of health that the target has attack, and then lowers that attack stat by one stage. I went with a simple EV spread to maximize Sinistra's weaker special defense, while using a defense boosting nature to get the most value. I went with the Mental Herb item since Citrus Berry was taken, and so many of Sinistra's moves get shut down by Taunt, and a Terra type of Fire to resist Fire Ogre Pond. Next, I wanted a way to reduce my opponent's damage output, so I started thinking about Intimidate users. I've been really liking a standard Scarf Landorus set, so I went with that. Landorus is a really good Pokemon here because you can lead it with Snorlax and Protect and U-Turn to get Snorlax next to a support Pokemon while also getting an Intimidate down. I rounded out the moveset with Stomping Tantrum, Rock Slide, and Terra Flying Terra Blast. I went with a simple EV spread, maximizing attack and speed. I needed to add some support Pokemon now, especially ones that I could lead next to Snorlax. The first Pokemon that came to mind was Assault Vest Iron Hands. Fake Out can buy time for Snorlax to Belly Drum, and it also pairs well with both Landorus and Sinistra. Landorus because it's already so tanky and Intimidate makes it even harder to remove, and Sinistra because it can support it with Fake Out while Sinistra Trick Rooms, work as a Trick Room Sweeper, and benefits a ton from Hospitality since it's so tanky. I went with the same EV spread I used at Pittsburgh, which aims to KO Tornadus and Urshifu, maximizes special bulk, and puts the leftovers in speed. A moveset of Wild Charge, Fake Out, Drain Punch, and Heavy Slam best allowed Iron Hands to be a threat under Trick Room while still being difficult to remove. I initially had a Terra type of Grass, but I changed it to Water because Amoongus wasn't present at all in my testing, and because Fluttermane and Chiyu was a difficult combination to go up against, and with Terra Water, Iron Hands could beat them reliably. But even though I had several support Pokemon on the team already, I didn't think that I had enough support for Snorlax. Fluttermane, for example, was pretty decent against all three of my supporters. But then I remembered that there was another strong Pokemon added in the DLC. If you aren't super familiar with competitive Pokemon, you might think that I'm joking. The Fairy doesn't look like a strong Pokemon. First, being a not fully evolved Pokemon, it can hold the Eviolite item improving its defenses significantly. More importantly, Clefairy has an ability that Clefable does not, Friend Guard. This ability reduces all damage done to Clefairy's partner by a quarter, 
Add on to that Clefairy's access to moves Follow Me and Heal Pulse, and you have a ridiculous supporting Pokemon. I finished my moveset out with Protect and Helping Hand. Helping Hand wasn't necessary for Snorlax, but it did work well with Landorus and Iron Hands, and Protect is just good to help Clefairy stay alive. I EV'd Clefairy to survive two Terra Fairy Choice Specs Dazzling Gleams from Fluttermane, and gave it a Terra type of Grass so I could nullify Amoongus if I ended up running into any which meant I only had one Pokemon left. After testing some, I realized the team was really strong, but could struggle when I didn't want to bring Snorlax. The whole team was built around supporting Snorlax, so I wasn't sure what Pokemon could just slot in when Snorlax was bad. It would ideally need to be a set of Pokemon that sacrificed some of its health for a meaningful boost, and there can't really be another one of those that isn't also a Belly Drum user, right? Except there is one Pokemon that was also just added in the Teal Mask DLC. Kamao, a Pokemon that saw basically no play last generation, was exactly what I needed. It has two signature moves, the first of which, Clangorous Soul, gives up a third of its own health in exchange for a boost in every single stat. This was a perfect Pokemon to pair with Sinistra, as after Hospitality, Kamao is only down 8% of its total health. It also gets a broken move called Clanging Scales, which hits both targets with a strong attack and lowers Kamao's defense by one stage. This pairs really well with Landorus, who can offset the defense drop with attack drops. Kamao is also one of the best users of Terrastalization in the game. It's been held back for years by its quadruple weakness to Fairy, but with Terra Steel, it can turn that weakness into a resistance. Terra Steel allows Komao to run a very powerful Flash Cannon. So suddenly, Komao goes from losing to every fairy Pokemon it sees to KOing them. And that's not all. Komao has three amazing abilities, but one in particular caught my eye. Bulletproof makes Komao immune to certain ball type moves, including Shadow Ball. That means that against Fluttermane, the most used Pokemon, Terra Steel Bulletproof Coma O resists Dazzling Gleam and Moonblast and is completely immune to Shadow Ball. And that's not all. Coma O can hold an item called Throat Spray, which gives it a special attack boost after it uses a sound type move. The reason this is so strong is because Clangorous Soul is a sound type move, meaning in exchange for a third of your health on your item, you get one boost in every stat except for special attack, where you get two boosts. With the healing from Heal Pulse and Hospitality, the defensive typing of Steel, the immunities provided by Bulletproof, the Fake Out and Intimidate support provided by Iron Hands and Landorus, and Clefairy boosting its offense with Helping Hand, Komo could completely run away with the game if the opponent failed to knock it out. I trained Komo to hit super hard, gave it enough speed to outspeed Adamant Shin Pao and Modest Fluttermane after a boost, and put the rest in HP to help it stay alive. And just like that, the team was finished. If you want to try out the team for yourself, you can do so using the rental code on screen. If you want access to my teams before the video goes up, a reminder that my patrons got this team and an explanation on the EV spreads, as well as my thoughts on how to improve the team the day the tournament finished. My subscribers helped me get the Pokemon in game, which meant it was time for the tournament. I'd need to win seven of my nine rounds in order to advance. A tall order. Here's how it went. Ogre Pond Rillaboom. Okay, that's actually not a bad lead for me. Okay, they switch out. So that means that either I get a U-turn down or I get... Wait, why is Weezing here? Just on to... Okay. Oh, interesting. Uh, I do half of its health. That's actually really nice. Here... I mean, I should go into Clefairy, right? I'm about to get Belly Drum up. I think just Clefairy is German name. U-turn? Okay, that's fine. It's not very much damage. Mm, Fluttermane. Okay. This Fluttermane is booster energy. Presumably booster special attack. And I get the laser off. All right, so this isn't terrible by any means. I know all four of the Pokemon, and frankly, Scarf Lander is a terrible blast. It kind of goes off here. My Lax is still relatively healthy, though not having Friend Guard is a problem for sure. Then again, getting the Grassy Terrain Recovery is actually pretty nice. That's not good. Oh, this either type here is bad for me. That's also pretty bad for me, to be honest. I should just KO the Fluttermane here. Eep, eep, eep. Okay, it is Dazzling Gleam. Let's pay attention to how much this does. How much is this going to do? 161 down to 69. They got me. I lived, but not in a way that is good for me. Okay, hang on. This is actually supremely bad. I think that I lose. Well, I still have Scarf Landorus, though, actually. It's not over. It is good that they've already carried, though. 
Delicious, delicious, delicious. I think I can take a Dazzling Gleam with this. I'm basically counting on them misplaying. Like going for Woodhammer into Crit Parry or something. Of course, if I die here, then it doesn't matter. That's a really bad crit. Oh, but they misplayed. Well, did they misplay? Yeah, they misplayed. I mean, the crit mattered, but it also... Yeah, that's the power of Hospitality, right? Did you forget about it for a single turn? A KO that you thought you had, that you thought there was no way around, or previously there would have been no way around, you now have a way around. And now with two Pokemon down, Rillaboom can't switch out again. The Grassy Train will end. You know, I actually could have gone Clefairy as well, but that, that opened me up to losing the crit. Oh, actually, I, I can't believe, can't I? This was dumb. I forgot I forgot that they could Grassy Glide into Black. Yeah, that was a, this is a mistake. I should have protected. I, like, didn't think about it. this. This is the correct play from them, because if I get crit here... Though, they'd have to hit me with Ivy Cudgel, right? Because they're minus one, and I, I don't think minus one on a crit Ivy Cudgel will KM. Eh, I have no bulk on Lander, so I'm right. I should have U-turned and protected. That was super safe. Terra Flying U-turn protect was safe. If Ivy Cudgel, if this crits, I could be in some trouble. Not crit. I think I would have died to a crit there. Beep. Ah, Spiky Shielding. Wee! Okay. Okay, nice. Oh, I wish I had Como. I could bring it, but if they have Fluttermane, I will just lose. Fluttermane really boom. It's a great lead, actually. To be honest, this could really, really, really screw me over. I also don't... Like, I don't think that I go down to Terra Flying. There's no way I go down to Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam. There's, uh, there's actually no way. I take it back. There's no way I go down. But though, if they got Lanny and Dazzling Gleam, Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam, then this is a really bad play. However, there's a chance that they don't want to do that because of... Uh, Okay, great play, but they're honestly, they're playing really well. Oh, Moonblast. Oh, I lose. I'm, it's over. It's actually over. Okay, I burned my Terra, and I lost my best Pokemon immediately. Although, okay, it's actually not over, because... Oh, wait, they have Shadow Ball. Uh, plus one Shadow Ball. Like, if I can get Trick Room up here, I might be able to turn it around. I think if I go into Sinistu now, because I just wasted my Terra, I can't get Trick Room up, which is the goal. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Fairy... It's not guaranteed that I can trigger them up. Great play. Yeah, they're honestly playing out of their mind. Okay. Uh, that's not good. They're playing super well. Oh, that's not good. If I killed Landy here, I would have been in decent shape. But the, the Flutter Mage is just too threatening. The good news is that Lax is full HP and plus 5. So, like, it's not like it's, you know, terrible. Okay. This is what I was afraid of, to be honest. Just rock fight ending my life. Please don't flinch, Snorlax. Please, please don't flinch. I almost wonder if it was worth taking out the Landy for that. Uh, no, I need to. Oh, that did a lot. That's actually very bad. Get both. I need heal. I need both attacks to go off this turn. Which is at a 50% chance. Too much. Okay. Good. Heal pulse, please. Okay. Yippee. Oh, hang on. Depends on what the last one is here. I am not out of the woods yet. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, This might be a switch out. Oh, no. Okay, it depends on if I survive this. And it depends... If I kill Ogre Pawn, I should win. Okay, I should win. I should... Ah! Uh, I don't win yet, because I can still get flinched to death. Bruh. Yeah, like that. So now I'm out of health and lack, and I think Grassy Train ends this turn. That's bad. Oh man, this Rillaboom's a pain. Ah! Oh man. The problem is actually the addition of Grassy Glide. That's that's what's gonna make this difficult for me. <laughs> Big out. Like, I, I, it comes down to if I flinch this turn, I think, on Rock Slide. They haven't missed a Rock Slide yet. That feels feels prime for the taking. It's There's also a possibility, by the way, that Grassy Glide actually KOs Clefairy. Uh... All right, here it comes. Do I live Grassy Glide? First, first test here. They don't go for it. Okay. Wood hammer. I sure hope it does. Um. Okay. If you get the kill, we should win. Okay. Now this is still a kind of a messy end game, to be honest, because I'm gonna need to burn this thing eventually. Well, actually, I think Lax is gonna be out of range of Grassy Glide with Hospitality. Man, the Hospitality is so broken. Look at this. <laughs> Snorlax has been at, like, low HP so many times this game. Okay, cool. Protect. Maybe I should have taken out the Rillaboom there. Oh, nice play. Trick Room goes up. That's good. Now Lax is the fastest thing. Here it comes. 
Oh, I'm so traumatized from Gen Gen 8. This is this is fine. Okay, and I would have gotten KO anyway. Alrighty, round one with no Komo. That was pretty spooky, to be honest. Okay, Ludicolo Torn. This is interesting because this Ludicolo does not have fake out, which means that this actually is not a terrible position for me to be. That's the downside. Okay. Oh, if I did the play I wanted to, I would have been paw I would have been schmooving. Boldango Torn. Okay, so they, they can't have Ogre Pond and Politoed, right? A lot. I would feel like it's Politoed here. Like, are you really relying fully on Torn? That's me, right? Oh, I guess it's gonna be me regardless. If I can buy one turn of freedom here, I'm gonna be in good shape. I really want Goldengo to protect here. Oh, ho, ho! No. who was talking trash in the chat about Bulletproof? <laughs> Wee! Boing, 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 boing. All right, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, and last but not least, Plus one. Ah, but also not last and also not least, there goes my health. Throat spray. Throat spray gives me a boost to a special attack whenever I use a sound type move. Let's go, please. Oh, please don't freeze me. Big damage. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Why do I even bother? I was fine. <laughs> Ah, please, please, ah. Oh, please, <laughs> please, ah, please, <laughs> please, ah, please, <laughs> please, 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 please. All my damage is on Como. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All my damage is on this thing. If it, that hits thunder. <laughs> All of my damage is on this mon. If it goes down, I can't do any damage. I have I have Sinistra and Clefable in the back. Clefairy in the back. I can't do anything if it doesn't thaw out. No, it's Ogre Pond. Oh my god, it's game over. <laughs> it's actually over. Okay, which is currently what's happening. They're bleak when swarming me. Yeah. Fortunate doesn't even begin to describe. I hit, they hit both. They hit raw thunder. They hit they double hit uh Okay. Saw 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 saw. Oh! I was kidding! I was I was ready for this thing to never thaw again. Hang on. Oh. I win. I I win. Uh oh. So long, gay Bowser. Copium, yep, fine. Less health to Hornleash, Copium. Up. Alrighty, I don't know how, but we turn this one around. <laughs> I feel like Sinistra has been really good at coming in and then like winning, the, like, help, like helping clean up the game, you know what I mean? Okay, GG. Polito Landorus, okay. Polito's moves are Weather Ball. Oh, I have Clefairy. Wait, that's good. Drizzly. Okay, that's a good lead for me. Uh oh. Hold on, Bowser. That's not good. Uh, even though I was intimidated before. Okay, nice. Great turn from me. Uh, assuming this doesn't do more than I think it's going to do. Pop, 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 pop. Seven turns left of the rain. Okay, pee pee. Until they Terra. Oh, okay. I'm glad I did this because I, I really wanted to predict the spiky shield, but I think that this is, I thought this was safer. I should live this, right? I should definitely live this. I was a little more confident than perhaps I deserved to be. They haven't terrored yet. I need to keep that in mind. Sorry, Terry. <clears throat> oh, it's called PP because that's what it says. Then again, get rid of Ogre Pond here for Clefairy, given that my Lax is set up, I think is a really good trade. So what's coming in here? It could be Ludicolo. It could be Landorus. It's Landorus and one more. And nothing is Terra Ghost, right? So if I go Iron Hands here, I have a safe fake out plus facade, probably. In fact, the, the only Pokemon that could come in, none of the Pokemon have Protect. Yeah, it's Landorus. Uh, nothing on this team is Protect. Um, I could switch in. Yeah, because Goldengo doesn't have it. Tornadus doesn't have it. Ludicolo doesn't have it. Landorus, I already knew, doesn't have it. So yeah, this is a safe, eh, safe fake out facade. The only question is, do I think that it's Goldengo in the back? Okay, Polyjord protects. 
I don't blame them. This probably confirms that their last Pokemon is Ludicolo, to be honest. But I get to go for this. Big out. Flinch. And then Facade plus 5 Facade. I invested quite a bit of it, uh, EVs into, into Snorlax's attack, and I'm glad I did because Facade isn't the strongest move. 3 to 2. Polytorch isn't that threatening. Ludicolo. Corn. Oh. Interesting. Oh, okay. GG. Yeah, Lax popped off. Yeah, the fact that I had uh, Sinisha in the back made things a lot easier as well. I was able to play it in certain ways because I knew that I'd be all right. Iron Hands over Pawn into Homo O Clefairy. That's an amazing lead from them, to be honest. Yeah, I'm forced immediately on the back foot. This is why I shouldn't. I sh and I didn't even bring Landorist. Yeah, great play. I actually did a lot of damage. Flutter, okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I get my boosts up. Get plus two. They could just be using this bait. Yep. Yeah, I think they were using that to really play from them. I could have gone for something like... So I'm just worried that they're going to Swords Dance here. That's like the main problem. Yeah. If they Swords Dance here, I'm actually in the... Yeah, problem was, okay, fine. It just protected too. Yeah, they're they're playing really well, unfortunately for me. Hang in there. One ten down to fifty six. This is so risky. Uh, I don't like this at all. Please, spiky shield and switch. Okay. Okay, come on. Hang in there, buddy. You can do it. Hang in there. I've given up more of my health for this. Come on, Como. Hang in there, please. Please. Hang in there. Oh no, hang in. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. This is what I was expecting. This is gonna be Terra Water on the Ogre Pond. However, by doing this, they no longer can get around Rage Powder. I think that's a good play. I agree with that play from them. Um, but th the thing is that I'm still protected by Rage Powder now. So even though they're going to survive Clanging Scales, they both will survive Clanging Scales, frankly. Um, it's okay because Rage Powder will now keep me safe. Sinistra, Sinistra is, is keeping this Como alive by, like, any means necessary. Here we go. Clanging Scales? Great damage. Ph 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 phenomenal damage. Ivy Cudgel? Why is it zooming in? Oh, yeah. I live, narrowly. Heavy Slam? Okay, great Heavy Slam here. The Iron Hands didn't have any prior damage, right? So this goes down, but it more than did its job here. I don't think that I've attacked this. I think that was my first attack of the game. Okay, this is... Oh. Oh, I get heal pulls off. Yippee. Yep. Okay, this is actually pretty good for me, in all honesty, because I get heal pulls off. Wing. So even though my Como was extremely low HP and has already eaten two Hospitalities, thanks to PP's heal pulse, I go back to... Relatively, like, over half my health, and now... I want a Flash Cannon here, but if it doesn't KO, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to Clang Scales and take the defense drop. It's okay. And this is the reason why having um, Bulletproof is really nice, because this this Fluttermane really can't prevent this Homo O from... Uh, like, it can't do anything here. Even if they even if they predict this play, it can't KO... Uh, they can go for Thunderbolt. That, that's the play that can thing. Okay, so I'm going to go for Clang Scales. Flash Cannon might have picked up the KO, to be honest, but... This is safer. Defense. Gleam. Big damage. So Como, who <laughs> was so low HP, is suddenly back to nearly full HP. It had it ate two Macha Ts and two heal pulses, and all of a sudden we're back in this. Could let them reposition if they want. Oh, great play. <laughs> I'm plus three, right? Does Clanging Scales one-shot Landorus? Also, who's faster? Garth, Landorus, or me? Oh, I'm faster. Oh, I'm plus two. Hang on. Am I faster? Uh, I am faster. And plus three Clanging Scales. It's guaranteed to fail. Yeah. Hee. So long, Landorus. Yeah, if you get two boosts up with Como, the nice thing is I'm kind of crit proof here as well. On Como, at least. Yeah, I mean, that's Specs Fluttermane. Okay, let's protect both. Okay, GG, yeah. All right, cool. All righty. Nice job, Como. Honestly, nice job from my opponent. Great lead from them. 
Uh, that's not great. Uh, I mean, it is neutral, right? Uh, or minus one now. If this is their Landorus, I'm uh, very scared. If it's hands, okay. Um, all right. This should KO. I max attack Adam, and I'm pretty sure this kills. Oh, I got the Terra. Oh my god. This should KO. Surely this kills, right? Terra Blast plus, er, plus zero. So the, to me, this their, their last mod isn't Landorus here. So I know three of the four mods, and I know the last one is not Landorus. It's got to be Bundle, I think. That's what I think, at least. This Bundle is the last, basically, the last game. That's really good. That is really, really good. Fluttermane goes down. They lose their Terra and their uh, strongest special attacker in a single move. And Lax gets Belly to drum up. Um, 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 um. Me when I drum my belly. Ogre Pawn back. Okay, so this is the position where I have to make a like or like what the right move is isn't clear to me personally. Oh. Well, that's good. Okay, I live this. Oh, they live that. Oh, hang on, wait, this isn't over. Jeez. Alrighty, nice. Fluttermane and Landorus. Okay, interesting. That is. I get Landorus. I'm kind of hoping that he wants to do turn here and not stomping. That's two, and two dies at one. I'm hoping basically that minus one super hook to stomping pincher and plus dazzling lane with spec. Thanks to the friend guard, we won't do that much. I'm also hoping for U turn. Okay, excellent. That's very good for me, in my opinion. So what move are you going for? Moonblast. Interesting. Survive that. I got my first step. Okay, so he made, a, he made an aggressive prediction then. So what are my options? I can go for... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this, I think. It's a little risky. This is not a guaranteed KO by any means. It depends heavily on his spread. Or bundle. Okay. Okay, I know all the mons now, which is good. Speed booster. Okay. Come on, buddy! Clanging scales plus two. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Well, 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 I think that is good for me. Dang, that was after one boost. Wait, combo kind of kind of goes crazy. This isn't over yet. Like, because of the Scarf Landorus, I have to be a little careful still. Though having Bulletproof is so nice here. These are both choice Pokemon. Let me just protect both. Hey, here comes the Terra. Landorus is fast. So with Rock Slide, it could go badly. Yippee. Uh, that's that's the bad. <laughs> well, let's see if it's Gleam here. Gleam. Okay, I'm gonna heal pull some flash cannon, and if I don't flinch on the combo, I should win. I hit both. 110 down to 99, but that's with Rengard. Combo uses flash cannon, and that should test. I don't think it can survive this, and if it does, I'm still very stupid. Not with Terra, and I don't have to reveal my last Pokemon actually, which is nice because I can switch to Landorus and go for uh, clanging skills and win the game. I'm gonna it's gonna end the battle with close to full HP. That's wild. Forfeit. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh. So long, game bundle. What move is gonna be used here? Moonblast. Nice play. Well. Yeah. Nice play. <laughs> Nice. Okay. This is still part of the plan. It's just not a very good part of the plan. You know what I'm saying? But I have one turn of sleep on my on my bestie Snorlax. One turn of sleep. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Wake you. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Great play. Plus six high stars is going to KO here. Oh, long. All right. All right. Clefairy goes down. That's not good. Oh, I got the one turn. I fight facade in. Okay, we're back in this. But I need to make this turn correct, right? Sinistrix is going to come in now. The thing is, I can get Trick Room up relatively safely. Oh. 
Oh, spec terror fairy. I don't know how much I take from this. Do I die to this? No way, right? I'm tanky. Trust me. Oh, I might, I might die to this. Hold on. Wait a second. Hang on. Four, four, four. Okay, they covered for the terror there, which is, in my opinion, very smart. I got trick room up. That's something. I've got the terror out now, which is good. Basically, okay, I made the right play. I think I think this is the right play personally. Take out Amoongus. Because now the Fluttermane is the sitting duck. You know what I mean? Because I still have three turns of Trick Room left, and a lot of Pokemon on this team do not have Protect. And he's already Terrored as well. So. Because it's two versus three, but I have plus six lacks in Trick Room, right? Bundle, okay. Bundle's not threatening to me, so I, I definitely want to... I want to think about this. Because the most important thing is that I KO this left slot this turn. So, I guess I could have Heavy Slam. Eh, I think Drain Punch is the best move here. I don't think it will survive this anyway. And even if it does, and even if he gets the Freeze, KO. Oh, lag there. It all depends on if he freezes, but even if he gets the Freeze here, I think I'm still in decent shape because I can Terra and Heavy Slam. And that, I was never KOing with Wild Charge anyway, so this is fine, right? Freeze Dry, he's going for the Freeze. I agree. Big Fat coming in Pluck. Does he get the Freeze? No freeze. Okay, that's going to be the game. Whew, alrighty. Let's go Snorlax. Oh my god, I'm playing Michael Derbesti. Oh my god. Michael Derbesti, world's second place. That's exciting. I think that my team is at a losing matchup here, but I don't think it's as bad as the last time I played Michael personally, which is very, very bad in terms of matchup. But I'm excited. I mean, it's cool to play good opponents, right? Alrighty, good luck, have fun. Oh, he didn't wish me luck. He only said have fun. That's it, that's it. All right, that's it. No more messing around. Now we're entering serious gamer mode. Moon and hands, okay. Attack boost, okay. Okay, so either they're not fake outing or, oh, a big crit. That's nice. Yeah, I am fast, but it's good. Good to know, good to know, yeah. I hate this play. Okay, yeah, I wanted to just go for clanging skills. For clanging soul. <sighs> Oh, this could go so badly. Beep, beep. Oh, I could have just killed this thing. I'm in enormous trouble here. Oh, they're playing so well. That's not good. Well, they're not going to tear it now. That much is apparent. I'm getting destroyed. Handsome. Oh, is it Amoongus? Ah, oh, that's not good. That's really bad. Beep, beep. This could go badly. Okay. Okay, chat. <laughs> what should I do here? Oh, it's fairy. This is I, I lose. Almost certain. Well, I probably lose. I kind of lost the plot, to be honest. Moonblast. Come on. Oh. oh my god. Wait, what? I could have just protected. There goes my Terra. Oh, okay, I lose this for sure. Without question. Well, probably. I probably lose this for sure without question. It depends on what the last Pokemon is, to be honest. Like, it all depends on what the last Pokemon is. If it's a Moongus, it, I lose for sure. Um, well, almost. Uh oh. The fairy? Dang. Whoa. Oh, that's really bad. Well, if I die here, it doesn't matter anyway. I think I'm dying to this. Even with friend guard. Whoa, man, I got rolled. They made so many hard reads. Like they got they got so many aggressive predictions correct. Okay. Well, yeah, I lose this, right? Certainly. The win condition is to figure out what their last Pokemon is, Sack the Fairy. I can't believe they made that kind of play, by the way. That, that's really, really aggressive. Uh, well, it's only... I honestly can't believe I died. No, I can believe that. Sorry, PT. You know, I actually got kind of close, given how badly this went. Yeah, I almost... I actually almost had it. Well, it depends what the last one is. It, yeah, I was never getting around the Heavy Slam. Oh, it was actually my Lotus. Interesting. Okay. 
Yep. Interesting. I can win this. Well, it is pretty difficult. There's nothing. Oh. I no longer believe that I can win. Okay, so about their play style, they made a lot of really risky hard reads. I think I can punish that. Question is how? They didn't even bring a Moongus, which is the mode one that I was worried about. Okay, how can I win this? Because the problem is that because their Roaring Moon has Dragon Dance potential, leading Landorus, or like leading Clefairy, which is kind of what I want to do here, becomes very risky. Yeah. Like this. Hippie. They are tearing already. Alex doesn't have a note or helping hand. I mean getting the tear out early is great, don't get me wrong. Is it gleam or is it something else? Finger a soul. Okay. They've terrored. Okay, that's good. Bird spray. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Okay, that's fine. Well, not really. Actually, that's actually not fine. If they miss there, I think I win immediately. <laughs> One turn, they are modest. I'm not shocked by that. Ugh. Come on, Komo. Come on, come on. Oh, I need you to wake up, buddy. Okay. Hey. How much does this do? 118 down to 54. Okay. And. Okay, I got a quarter of my health back. The thing is, because they can't Terra anymore, they can't get around Rage Powder, unless they hit me with Hypnosis here. They go for Protect, okay. That's really good, actually. Um, that's really good. Brain Punch, nice. Nice, okay. Maybe it, this might be a mistake. Okay, plus two. Two more of those in Iron Hands. One more will KO my Lotic, though. Question is, is it Icy Wind or is it... It's probably Hypnosis, let's be honest, folks. All right. Well, that's going to be the game, I think. Dumb. I can still win this because they keep going for... Oh, I mean again? Okay. Okay, I can still win this. No meme. No meme at all. There's actually a way for me to win this. I don't need Sinister to be awake to win this because as long as Como is alive, I still have a chance, right? Again, dude, I'm all over this. That's fine. This, there's a reason why I made this play. This is not going to KO. This is actually very good for me. We do not want this to KO because do not KO, please. We do not need the fairy to win this game. Okay, barely not KOing. That's great. We also don't need my. They went for that. I could have switched. Could have gone back into Sinistra. Okay, I'm down three to four, and one of my Pokemon is at half HP, and the other one is damaged and asleep. However, I have Landorus this time. And even though I am giving my Lotica boost here, it does not matter because my Pokemon are faster because they never went for Icy Wind. So, plus two my Lotic. However, they've already Terra'd. Yep, and I'll take both here. That's one. And this is two. I can't Terra. Roaring Moon, okay. The only thing is, am I guaranteed to be faster than this? I actually do not know. Because this way I can U-turn them, uh, and I get an Intimidate in a second. Man, I did not do this on purpose. My combo is definitely not one, exactly one point faster than Roaring Moon on purpose. I'll tell you that much. Okay, Flash Cannon at plus two is a guaranteed KO. Thanks to the Terra. Butterman goes down. Three against one, but the Roaring Moon hasn't moved yet. Okay. Yep. That was faster. However, even at plus one... And even with my... Am I neutral? I'm minus one defense, right? Even still, I think I... 
I don't think I don't think knockoff will KO here. It's it's like basically it's minus one defense coma over. So there's no boosted knockoff, right? I don't think that KOs. There's no way. All right, we're going to game three. Okay, that sucked. Hypnosis just really blows. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You want to click Hypnosis? I'll click Rock Slide. Let's see. Oh! 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 Hmm. Amazing switch. They're Terrasalizing early? If I'd gone for Terra Blast, they'd be, they'd be big chilling. Hmm. Arcanine. It's Goggles. Oh, it's Goggles Arcanine. I can't, I can't uh, Rage Powder it. Wee! Extreme speed. Gotta watch out for Sure. Hey. You absolute... Landorus! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Landorus! My brother! That's actually a pretty bad miss, to be honest. I don't like this positioning very much, to be honest. Oh no. They stayed in. Oh no. Yippee. I could have killed either Mon. And I killed neither Mon. Oh, I'm super losing this. All right, that got greedy. I could have just flash cannoned. I should have just flash cannoned strength sap, but I was worried about I got like overthought it. Okay. If I get crit, I'm done for. Okay. Hey, in alive. Bruh. That's getting, that's, that is legitimately game losing. Okay. I was actually okay, if not for that. That's kind of crazy. Ugh, this sucks. That burn, because I don't have that much health to work with here. You know what I mean? Like I don't have unlimited HP on this thing. Hello. Okay. I'm not made of health over here. Into who? The burn. It's the burn that screws me over. Oh my god. If it's and it's by one HP. That is actually ridiculous. I can't keep. I can't stay alive. I lose because of the freaking flare blitz burn. It is so stupid. I was so unbelievably fine. That's ridiculous. If I had one more health, I, still pulse, I, guess. I was worried about extreme speed. I don't think Sinistra. Well, okay. Here's the plan. There is no plan. Yeah. All right. Well, that sucks. I'm a little. I'm not thrilled with that. And the last one is Iron Hands. And this could have uh could have won this now. Special attack drop. Alright, dog. No burn? No burn? Oh yeah, that can happen. Alright, well that's I mean that's alright. Like, I was bound to get unlucky at some point. This, the second like setup move is kinda risky. I just didn't know what the last Pokemon was. Yeah. That's okay. That's alright. GG's. Okay. <laughs> Why? I think that's so funny. <laughs> Pair of fairy, presumably? Pair of fairy, I presume? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Hang on there, Pee Pee. Pee Pee. Honk. That's with a crit. Okay. It called crit part. That crit mattered immensely. Okay. I think I just lose from the double crit. Actually, the crit might have mattered. I might have survived that now that I look at how little that did. Okay, this is not good. Okay, this is looking like an eighth. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? Okay. I don't have a fake out user, right? So this is actually, I think, a pretty lucky switch for me. Because I, I want this thing off the field, frankly. Okay. Plus five. Oh, wait a second. You know what? Hang on, I'm still in this. Here's how I can still win this. A lot. All right, I got five turns. I got to win the game before these turns are up. Four turns. I got four turns in Trick Room to win this game. Turn number one. Iron Hands in for Sinistra. We want more offensive pressure on the field immediately. 
Arcanine switching out. They're going to try and intimidate cycle me down. That's okay. Empoleon. We know all the mons now. However, this Empoleon cannot protect itself. High horsepower connect. It's only 95% accurate. Flutterman goes down. One turn pass. Three remain. One KO taken. Three turns of trick room remain. That was the wrong move. I could have done better. It's okay. Okay. Iron Hand's slower than Empoleon. How many turns of trick room remain? Anyone know? Player Blitz. Thick Fat coming in clutch. Cutting the damage in half. Oh. Burned. Okay. Norlax is burnt. That's not good. That is actually extraordinarily bad. That's okay. I can still win this. Okay. So I'm plus four attack. What did I use? I don't even know what I used. Wrong move. Play that much. Ah, oh, wrong move. Not good. Oh, hang on, there's Snorlax. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All righty, chat. Here's how I can still win this? Question mark? Okay, finally. Nice. All right. If I get the KO this turn, it might be possible. Please don't miss. Please do not miss. Okay. Or is that enough? That should be enough, right? This is super effective. Okay. All right. Huh? Huh? You all are seeing this, right? What? It doesn't have heightened crit rate, right? Okay. Okay. All right, well, that was close. Let's see here. Fluttermane Ogre, again? And pee -pee. Pee -pee. I love pee -pee. All right, well, there's the Terra. I'm glad I protected both. There's no downside to doing this in, if, unless they switch. To be honest, I don't hate getting rid of the Terra turn one. Not bad. Because it could be like Moonblast, and they could be trying to catch me out here. Nope, beam. okay. Maybe they went for a side U-turn and they just super schmixed me. Ujil. Dang, I actually could have been in a really good spot if I went for the play I wanted, but I think this is safer. But I mean, it's faster than Ogre Pawn. I don't know what it calls us. Oh. Oh? I like that when you when it switches out, it says it went back to East School. Because their name is East School, but it's like, oh, it went back to school. I think that's cute. I gotta get rid of this Fluttermane X Oh, Roaring 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 Moon. Boost energy. Alright, belly drum. Oh, it's speed booster. I'm not worried about that. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I know I know three of them on, not four. Okay, Snorlax. Takes some damage, drops kind of low. Eats the berry, delicious. Eats the heal pulse, nutritious. Oh, it's not even Dragon Dance. Oh, this isn't so bad. Ogre Pond. I mean, I'm perfectly okay with this personally. My Eviolite! Dog, I was using that. Hello? Oh. Fuck. I want us to trick him up, but it's looking kind of difficult. Okay, getting rid of an immense this turn. Or, um, Roaring Moon. No spiky shield. I might have rather... Hey, okay, nice. Yeah, because I've been spamming heal pulse, they're heavily incentivized to attack the fairy with a weak come on. A lot, actually. A little bit more than I would have liked. Arcanine. Okay. Big arc. Yep, my favorite, my favorite mini game. Oh, I didn't realize I was gonna KO. Oh, if I flinch, wait, I'm in trouble if I flinch. Okay. All right. Hang on, wait, I could lose this actually. Wait, I could actually lose this because I just gave up a fair bit of uh, resource. Okay, I see a way that I should be able to. God, hospitality is so good. Okay, I'm in the yellow. I mean, I'm in the the green. I don't think. Extra welcome KO Machi Gacha with Terra. Terra Fire. Whee! 
The Machi Gacha. 107 HP remain. Ivy Cudgel into Lack. I should live this unless they crit. Survive, they did not crit. Put him down. Griffin goes up. Alrighty. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Snorma. Thank you, honestly, thank you, Sinisha. This thing is broken. Uh no, Pheasantipity is good. Trust me. Hey, okay, Ogre put Napoleon. Hey. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, you know, this Napoleon is gone, actually. I didn't even think about that. I maybe should I probably should have followed me here. I didn't even I didn't really think about Yawn. That might be that might come back to haunt me in a pretty big way. I think I Eevee to survive this. But you know what? I don't know for sure. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's going to shut me down in a big way, isn't it? Yeah, that's not going to fly, is it? <laughs> ah, I can explain. This is a, this is an insta loss, I think. I did not consider what would happen under these circumstances. I also really thought I needed Clefairy to survive that. Like I was actually, I'm actually pretty sure that I did Eevee to survive that, so now I'm going to have to figure out what the heck I'm Eevee for. Not having Iron Hands in the back is making this difficult, I think. That was a really smart leader from them. This is not good. I, I think I've almost certainly lost this. Um, they found a really good lead against me. Oh, hang on. I need a Hydro Pump Mist, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I needed a Hydro Pump Mist to win this, I think. I guess I could have taken on Empoleon here, but I was basically... I don't know. Yeah, that was a, that was a really... They played... Yeah, they identified very well what I was weak to here. This is going to make this pretty difficult, to be honest. This, I mean, this is last over. This is, I'm talking about the rest of the set. You know, there is one way back into this one chat. I just see one itsy-bitsy way that I could win this. All right, Snorlax. You're going to have to get a one-turn sleep, and that's probably still not going to be enough. Yep, here comes Iron Hands. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> well, it's not guaranteed over, right? The last one, I expect Fluttermane. All right, if Hydro Pump misses, they're probably going for Flash Bang. I could have won. Wait, I was, if either of those missed, I was in winning position. Wait, that's actually kind of crazy. I actually could have won this. I definitely did not respect it here. Um, I actually could have won this. That's, that's wild. Flash Cannon, yeah. That does a lot. I don't think I'm, I'm gonna assume the last one. Oh, let's go relax though. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to win from here. Oh, I got lucky with the one turn sleep too. I was actually, that means that they missed. I was actually, I was actually fine. In fact, that, wait, Clefairy, I, I kind of can't believe that Clefairy went down there. I was almost positive I could survive that. Oh, I definitely survived this. Okay, it's okay, I learned something. Um. Why did I not? E oh, I think I EV'd if it wasn't plus one. Oh, okay, that changes. Tomo doesn't really work here against Napoleon. Yeah, it's a strong lead. You know what I can do? Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pair of water, iron hands. All right, hang on. Come on, betting on you, buddy. Pair of water, iron hands. Really good play. Okay, that's not great. That's actually pretty bad. Nice play. Well, here goes nothing. I'm letting Sinister fall asleep here in order to get these boosts online. Yawn is so good into my team. <laughs> I wish hospitality cured status conditions. <laughs> Why aren't you like Lunar Blessing? Hey, they're playing really well. It's plus three. I'm not even sure if plus three will do half to Iron Hands. I couldn't think of Napoleon. Hey, not quite enough, I think. Here. Jeez, it does a lot. Yeah, nice play. Um, Is that thing in range of another Clanging Scale? This is a little bit unorthodox, honestly. However... Up 
turn correct finally. You know, I should have gone Clefairy here, because I could have gone Heal Pulse next turn. This actually might not work well enough. That's not good. Ah, that's not good. Great switch. Oh, that's not good. Because if I Terra, they, they just outplayed me. I, I can't do anything about that. I cannot, I can win this with one turn sleep. That's kind of the, the out here. Oh, and their Iron Hands is faster than mine. Yeah, they, I mean, it's a, they, they had a real, they had a good matchup and they figured it out. I can't be upset about that. Oh, that wasn't what I expected to happen. Oh, wait. It's not over yet. Big damage. Okay, hang on. Saved by pure RNG and nothing else. Protect Napoleon. Nice. Hey. Okay. I haven't Terra yet. I really need them to Terra. I also haven't Terra, though that's not super useful in this matchup, right? In fact, it's just not useful at all. This is what I expected. This Terra Fairy on the Empoleon, which means that I've cut down on a lot of Ogre Pond's damage. The question is, are they yawning or are they flash in? For their defense drop. Flash Cannon, okay. Hang on, we're still in this. I survive. Koma O will not go down. <laughs> My homie, he won't, he won't do it. Ogre Pawn, okay. Come on, Koma O, hang in there, buddy. Show me a protect. Come on, you want to protect so bad. Uh oh. Wow, wow. This Empoleon is so strong. I'm sorry I ever said anything bad about Empoleon. It's broken. How do I beat this thing? All right. Delicious, 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 delicious. How many times have I healed Como with this this game? Okay. All right. This is a 4-0, assuming this KOs. This is a 4-0, but I should have gotten 4-0. That's crazy. Okay. Como sweep. That is not going to work again. I got Omega bailed. They did not deserve to win this. That's not going to work a third time. Let me tell you that. I have to pee so bad. Okay. Thank you, Gomo. Uh oh. Their Ogre Pawn is fast. Okay. No, uh, Holy Unsurprised switch in. That's good. Okay, no Terra. That's good. Okay. Hey, that's alright. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. That's, right. that's gonna be game over. They have not Terra'd yet. I know all of the Mon. The back Mons are Iron Hands and Ogre Pawn. No Terra. I could have taken both KOs, but I didn't think I would win if I did. Like, I think I need to leave Empoleon alive for one more turn. Oh! Oh my god, wait! I need to start. I, I don't think it matters because I think I'm likely to hit the. What's their last move? It's Stomping Tantrum. Just fake out Yawn, right? Yeah. I knew it was coming. I could have gone for the double. I chose not to. I messed this up in hindsight. I like. Got really close to figuring it out, but I assumed that they would go after Snorlax this turn. When in actuality, I think they'll go after Sinistra. Oh, they're not tearing. I didn't miss a Terra, did I? No, definitely not. You know what? My original plan would have worked. They went after Lax. That, like, if I switched here and fake outed Trick Room, which is what I wanted to do, I might have been okay. Yeah, I don't. I got kind of lost in the sauce towards the end here. In all honesty, I got really close too. That's what sucks. There's no reason for them to let me take them out. Although, what's my win condition, right? It's, it's getting a couple turns right in a row. A lot of them. One turn of sleep. Want you got to please? Nope. 
Come on. 13. 50% of the time, I will wake up. Please connect. Please connect. Okay? If Wild Charge picks up the KO here, which it's probably not super bulky, right? Burn, 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 burn. Oh, I crit. Burn, 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 burn. I have never burned with that move, I swear to God. Please kill. Wait. Wait. There's no way. I'm probably just losing a crit. Okay. All right, I wish I wasn't fire type right now. 178 into 136. Burn, burn, please burn. Please. 20%? Please? Please? <gasps> no way. What does this do? For a bit. There's no way. Okay, don't crit. Okay. Strength sap actually so clutch in a 1v1 against a physical attacker. Drops Iron Hand's attack by one stage and heals for a ton of damage. Nice. Oh my god. The yeah, Ascarada Chrysalia. So this is. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, so this is banned me, Ascarada. It's AV Landorus. Or Ghost Chrysalia, okay. I think that makes sense. Um, personally. Problem. Okay, I'll go into Clef here. Yeah. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Not good. Oh, this could go so bad. If they crit me, it's over immediately. Here comes Earthquake. I'm really banking on them not critting. Four. A okay, plus two crests. This should, yeah, with the chip, I should definitely KO. They should go for stored power this turn. That's my guess, at least. Pop, pop. Come on, come on. Clanging scale. This should really scale. Here. Okay, plus three. That's it. Alright, that's good. This should be stored power, humbly. Oh no! Yeah, that makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. Shoot. Ah, Gudra, my boy. What are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I know all the mons here, and they did bring both of their scary Pokemon. <gasps> oh my god. I can't touch the Cresselia, it's Terra Ghost. It's totally immune to Snorlax. Another calm mine, that's not good. Wait, this is actually going really badly really quickly. Kill. Leftover is Gudra. Machigot is not gonna do enough here. There's a mistake. There's a big mistake by me. Okay. Hey, it's up to more health. I could have raised better there, but I wanted to reverse the trick room. Up. Oh. Special defense drop. Okay. Trick room is down. Gudra's leftovers. Well, there's a way out of it. Oh. Never mind. Ah! I'm losing so much defense. Oh, it went for trick room. Oh, I'm chilling. Oh, I win. Okay, okay. Uh, I didn't think about Terra Ghost Cresselia being completely immune to Landorus. Or to, to, wait, Snorlax. This is not gonna fly, chat. This is, this is actually not gonna fly. Oh. Sorry. You fought well. So I won game one. However, this Cresselia is a huge problem. With Terra Ghost, it's immune. It's fully immune to Snorlax. Like, it, it's actually completely immune to it. I didn't really think about what would happen if they went for something like this, to be honest. Horn Meow, okay. Interesting. Landorus Blood. Huh? Oh, that crit. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. 
Oh, nice play. Yeah, they're just gonna kill Landy. I think I just lose on the spot, right? Yeah. Wow. Hard read, but yeah, that works. Yeah, my Landy's not gonna survive this. Really well. Yeah, really well played, huh? Sorry, Landy. Yeah, I'm in huge trouble now. I really need Landorus to beat this thing. You crit ignore Frangard? I can't even remember. Vestalia, not good at all. Really bad, in fact. I need them to make a mistake here, basically. Um, there's a chance the fairy lives in this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not familiar with my Meowth yeah, twist and you know what I mean? Come on, you want to hit Koma O, don't you? Nope. The fairy dodge it! Jesus! <laughs> well, this is looking incredibly turbo doomed. Frankly, I have a plus two Koma O and a dream, and that's about it. Koma O has to literally 1v9 here. Or this game is over. I've burned my Terra. They've burned their Terra. This is incredibly broken. What is this mod? Uh, Sinistra, you're going to have to find a way through this with us, buddy. Am I faster than Crest at plus one? There's no way, right? There's actually no way. Actually, no. Yeah, it's actually impossible. Unless they're really slow Crest. A, a crit from Como into Cresselio is one of the only ways I can see. Oh, an actual switch. Oh, you know what would be nice right about now, folks? When I think it would be nice, a cheeky burn in the chat. Burn. They're faster. I need a crit on this Cresselia. It's kind of my only way through. Otherwise, it's just gonna out Lunar Blessing me to death. And every time I attack, I lose my defense, which is really bad here. Half the Landorus. Gotcha, gotcha hits both. Wee, 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 wee. Okay, the burn Landorus uh, actually is relevant. Like, losing health is bad, but there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, wait, I. Okay, that's, a, uh, that's, that's probably going to steal it, actually. Oh, hang on. Calm Mind again? I need a crit. Give me a crit on the Flash Tent. Actually, even a crit. Yeah, a crit would be good. Give me a crit. Not enough. Miss Landorus, not Cress. Dog. What the heck? That is extremely unfortunate. This Cress is going to live on, like, 1 HP. I'm sure of it. Crit! Yeah, it wasn't a maker. Let's be honest with ourselves and each other. Blessing. Yeah, this is really, really well played by them. I can't really break through this because, yeah. Crit! Oh, I got the crit. Hang on. Okay. So Como is at minus one defense, right? Power trick? What are they? I could have just won! I had the game! I literally had the game. What? What a crazy play is that? Do they know something that I don't know? One, I shouldn't have overthought it. Como, can you finish off this crest? Please, pretty please, pretty pretty please with the cherry on top. Please KO. Okay, I got rid of Yaskarada, but this crest is still alive. <laughs> At least the defense drops don't matter anymore. Oh, mind. Oh, oh man, they're just gonna go for Tailwind, right? Crit, 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 crit. I won! <laughs> I don't really know how, but I, I, I managed to win. Oh my goodness. You know, I bet that they didn't remember that Clanging Scales was dropping my defense. I bet that's why they made that, that Sucker Punch play. Well, we take those. You know, I, this is the lead I expected, but I still didn't lead properly for it. What kind of booster are you? Speed or attack? Probably attack, right? You know, I considered this play, and I was like, there's no way they go for it. I was like, there's no way they go for it, because I want to just protect the Clefairy, but I was like, nah, there's no way they go fake out in my Iron Hands, assuming they're faster, which they almost certainly are. Oh, okay, I'm saved. Oh, mein Gott. Okay. Oh, it was fine. I was always going to be fine there. No way. What? All right, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this person, to be honest. What on earth are they doing? They've used the Terra, actually, so it's not actually doomed. I could have just protected. What are they doing? All right, I, I don't know. I, I'm done making predictions. Okay, we've lost our carry. Not good. Dennis Joe, you're gonna have to do some work because uh, this isn't going very well. Landorus, man. No, no, no. This is all wrong. At least I got some health back. I burned the Terra as well. This isn't so bad. 
Beep, beep. Yeah. I guess that was obvious. I could have tried to make a read here and predicted like Fluttermane coming in, but it could be Ogre Pond as well. I need some burns. Ogre Pond, okay. This isn't great. Ow. I could have Trick Room here. Give me the burn! That's not good. Oh, wait, but now I'm weak to Landorus. That's why I didn't want to do that. Okay, well, that's just probably over. That's a lot. Okay, I did get this turn correct, at least. Good. Oh, wrong play. Wrong play, Wolf. Spiky Shield, Spiky Shield, Spiky Shield, Spiky Shield! Spiky Shield, baby! I need burns. Like, that's the only way I'm getting back into this. Okay, okay, then I actually didn't make the wrong play, I think. Delicious. Big damage. Big healing. This is not good. I miss Como. -Oh. I miss him so bad. Majigaj has got to come through here. Burning the Landorus and burning the Iron Hands means that this is winnable. Without burning the Landorus, this is going to get really tough, I think. I don't know how much Majigaj does to Landorus, but my guess is not that much. Okay, I hit both. That's a good start. The chip damage is definitely meaningful, especially on the Landorus. Hey, burn, 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 burn. No. How could you? A lot of damage. Oh, if they double my... And, oh, that's gonna be it. Okay, I think the crit might have... The crit actually definitely mattered there. Oh, okay, now I definitely lose. Yeah, without the crit, I'm actually... I'm actually okay there, I think. I haven't crit so much today. I don't think I can win this anymore. Yeah. This whole game was kind of a mess, frankly. Misty. It really doesn't matter. I, like, I can never... Because I only have Macha Gacha, I can never kill Ogre Pawn. Yeah. I'll just forfeit. Okay, lead. Getting the terror out immediately is fine by me, personally. Oh! Bruh. Dude! I've been crit every single like I can't even get over how often I've been crit in these games. My lenders has switched in tw ah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's all right, chat. I can still win this. I fully believe that. Oh, losing Intimidate is really bad. Ugh. It did so much. Oh, I might just die here. No way, they're, they're not gonna Dream Slam, right? There's no way they're gonna have you slam. I might die here, actually. I might have calculated this. I thought knockoff would do less. Also, that's a really aggressive. But, okay, so if I die, okay. Have to keep boosting. Be. They're gonna crit me. No, they're not gonna crit me. I don't believe it. I don't believe Earthquake will crit Como. I don't think I can KO without Helping Hand. They're not out of the woods yet. In their last Pokemon is Uber Pond. This is, I think I actually probably, oh, they messed up. Oh my God, they messed up. This is the last turn of Talon, right? I didn't count wrong. Hippie. That'd be sick. Okay, I win unless they get the double protect here. Should win this. <sighs> I guess it's not technically over. Around the other one. Beep beep. Flip. Okay, game three. Here we go. Okay. Alrighty, that is a lead in our favor. Okay, because now not the booster energy gets turned off, which is really nice. And this the booster energy is now a speed booster. So they went from having a turbo cracked physical attacker to 
So something a bit more manageable. Um, the thing is that this does mean that Roaring Moon's gonna move before my Koma O. I think they want to go for Tailwind. This is very risky. Very, very risky. Okay. Boomst. Oh no. Andy. Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. And again, it's not so good either, right? I have to eat an Earthquake now. Oh, because of the speed boost. Wait, hang on a second. This is actually not good. Shoot, I should have U-turned. They're both faster than me still. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, actually, the speed boost coming back to hurt me a little bit here. Okay, here comes the Terra. Just probably uh, um, Burning Moon. They read it. Oh my god. Hang on a second. This is suddenly going very badly, isn't it? 34, okay. Okay. It's this, it's actually the speed booster that's really hurting me right now. Yeah, the speed boosters really come back to bite. I'm only plus one speed on Kamao as well. Boing! Oh, damage. Oh, that's a nice shot. <clears throat> Lander assist for Ting, that makes sense. Roaring Moon is staying in, that's, that's nice. They've read me so many times, I wonder if they're going to read this too. I guess my play is kind of predictable, but I do think that it's necessary. Like, I see a way to win now. Take out. Okay, that's fine. I didn't that. Anything else is fine. Oh, okay. Okay, that's not good for me. Come on, I'm kind of, I'm betting the horse on you, baby. Come on, buddy. Just knock off. The fairy, I need you to survive this one, bestie. All right, come on. If nobody else got me. I know Komo got me. I am running out of health, folks. Hang in there, Clavery. Oh. E. Wait, I think I lose now. Wait, what's, what was my plan here? Hang on, wait, what didn't I have a plan? It's winnable. If Komo -O survives this attack. Oh, you know what? They actually have a really smart play they can do here that I didn't even consider. It's n it, it really depends on what they target, who they, like, how they attack here. Okay, if I live this attack, I think I win the game. Oh. Wait. I'm Scarf Landorus. Finding skills takes up Moon? I haven't counted wrong, have I? Two turn, one turn left to Tailwind after this. Maybe I, maybe I don't know my calc. No, I, I calc right. Wait, hang on. Because I went for that second Clangorous Soul, there should be one turn of Tailwind left. The last two are Landorus, T, and Ogre Pawn. And both are in range of clanging scales, unless I've calc wrong, in which case the game's over, but yeah. There's one turn of Talon left. I, I didn't, I got two speed boosts, which is enough to outspeed Landorus. Landorus, do you survive Ivy Cudgel? Probably not, right? Woodhammer. Recoil! This is the mon that mattered, it mattered more on. Wait, now they're definitely, definitely in range of clanging scales. I'm not, I haven't done anything wrong, right? I have two boosts. I'm faster than both. Talon is over. I have three special attack boosts. Am I missing something? I should one-shot both these Pokemon. All right, let's find out how bulky is Landorus. Not bulky enough. All right, and that's 8-1. Let's go. Team popped off, not gonna lie. That was pretty spooky. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Day two. Okay. This was uh, kind of a worst case scenario, to be honest. This is a lead that I really didn't want to see. The waste hospitality for this turn, but that's okay. Okay, no Terra. Okay, no, it does like nothing. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, Fluttermane coming in here is pretty good for me. Okay, okay, I got the turn correct. Trick room goes up. All right, cool. I mean, that went pretty well. I got Trick room up. I revealed three of the four Pokemon. This is Terra Fire Flutter Maiden is the only problem. I'm gonna Machi Gotcha and I'm gonna Wild Charge here, I think. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh. I, I think I should KO, right? I did a lot to the Iron Hands, actually, more than I expected. Oh, that's really good. If I get the KO on the Flutter Maiden here, um, I'm in really good shape. If I don't get the KO on the Flutter Maiden, though, things are gonna get kind of messy, quickly. The burn is nice insurance, though. If I don't get the Wild Charge, it doesn't really matter, I think. Oh, they're slower than me. Okay, that's good to know, actually. I would rather them be slower because Trick Room isn't that big a deal. 
Yeah, Terra Fire is nice because it forced me to Wild Charge. Otherwise, I would have done something else. Okay, I get the KO. The burn doesn't matter on the Fluttermate. It does matter very much on the... Um... Pen Pow! Oh! Oh, hang on a second. Oh, I could have just taken the win. That sucks. I might have just made a huge mistake. I mean, I did just make a huge mistake here. Okay, it's okay. But I should live this, to be honest. I should have just attacked the Chen Pao. That, that, this, this was a bad play. I need to make sure that I don't make plays like this again. The Sword of Ruin comes in pretty handy here, because I heal a lot of damage thanks to them dropping their own defense. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot about Terra. That, that's okay, that's okay. It's not great, but it's alright. Good play. Okay. No protect? Man, there there it has it does have protect. I'm not out of my mind. Do I have a heal a full here? Hundred? Hmm. Gonna be close. Bolt switch. Oh no. So now I'm a fire type and they can deny trick room. Urshivu comes in. Oh no. Except I'm not letting you do that. <laughs> no way. No way am I letting you do that for free. Nah. -uh. You cannot bring Urshivu in for free against me. No, no way. Absolutely not. Now you're minus one ice spinner. You know, respectable damage. Play. Oh, nice play. Play. Sinistra kind of popped off here, to be honest. <laughs> like, Iron Hand's helped a lot, but Sinistra was actually really hard for my opponent to deal with. I think Helping Hand Machigacha is really funny for some reason. Like, it just cracks me up. Nice. <laughs> Oh my god, that did a lot. Oh wow. I was gonna heal pulse, but this is better. Wait, this is literally just better. I don't even need to heal pulse. I, there's so much healing from that. Yeah, so this should actually kind of popped off here. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. So this should kinda kinda did <laughs> how many KOs does this to get here? <laughs> I guess I got I guess I got two. But still, it, it was very impactful. And it's like a battle of full HP despite taking multiple super effective ice spinners. Wow, okay. All right, well, that's game one. That went better than expected. I didn't fully figure out my game two plan, though. Which is what I'm gonna have to do now. Anything about this? Butterman Lander is, okay. Not ideal, to be honest. Not ideal at all. Because the thing is that this Landorus is one of the hardest Pokemon for me to deal with. This is why I led Clefairy. Oh man, I got the leads totally flipped. Yeah, this, this clear amulet Landorus is one of the things I was most afraid of, and part of the reason I lived to carry Landorus game one was to cover for it, so that in a situation like this, I could go for Helping Hand Terra Blast. However, I guess I should have known they weren't going to lead Urshifu. Yeah, my, my Pokemon are way worse this game, I think. Hit both? Okay. Give me Flinch on the Flutter Main. That's not good. Eh. Maybe Flinch on the Landorus? Okay, that's also not good. This is considered bad by many people, including me. Especially given I burnt my Terra. I mean, I got rid of a Pokemon, but I don't think the trade was super in my favor, to be completely honest. Because how am I going to beat Landorus now is the question. It's going to have to be something cheesy, right? So I'm doing it in this order for two reasons. Number one, I want the hospitality healing. And by switching out first, even though I'm switching Iron Hands out this turn, I get the healing, which is nice. That Iron Hands, yeah, because now I'm a water type, I'm very susceptible to do this. Nice. Great fake out. Me. U turn. Wait, who's the last? Oh, if it's Urshifu. Wait, if it's Urshifu, we have a way back into this, actually. Ah! <laughs> That's not good! <laughs> oh, friends, that is not good for me. I don't think I'm going to be able to set up this game with Snorlax, to be honest. I think what I have to do is this. I don't really see a way to win this anymore, to be honest. Oh, Iron Hand switches out. Oh, they get intimidated down. Although the good news is that my Landorus is, or my Landorus is not intimidated, yeah. I could go for flinches. It's always an option. Because this chip is not going to be enough. The question is, are they draftalizing here? Board dance. 
Okay, that's not good, chat. Plus one. Nothing. Okay, that's really bad. This is probably U-turn, right? I guess I'm not doing any damage to my sucks. Insight. Flinchy, flinchy! Flinchy, flinchy! Flinchy, flinchy! J'ai mes palais of Delechian Rouge! If I'm gonna win this, this is the crucial turn, I think. I'm gonna go for Rock Slide and Tech here. I don't love this play, to be honest. However, I think that is my best odds of winning this game. Yeah, that's not... Uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. This isn't great. Flinchy, flinchy! Ward's attack to the wrong target. Hey, okay, hit both. Most important. Those are fun. It's a lot of damage. Let's see if they horn leashed or if they flinched. Hey. Okay. I think they have to take out Landorus. Otherwise, Rock Slide will just end the game. Okay. The question is, did they double it or did they go after Lack? Horn Leash? I should live this. Okay. Okay, but they haven't terra yet, and I don't have a good answer to Terra Flying. So take out Ogre Pond here. I do think that was the right call, because I can intimidate down the, um... Oh, you know what? If it terra's to Flying, it becomes weak to a lot of my moves. A lot of my mons. This is where they Terra, for sure. Their amulet is so good. Here we go. I had to do this. I didn't have another option. Okay. All right. I messed up. Okay. I reverse messed up. I overthought it. I was basically... I forgot that I, if I wasn't water type, I would be fine. However, I am water type, so I'm not sure... Oh, wait. I win. All right, I think I win. They got stomping. They got stomping. Switch. Double power stomping tantrum. Will I die to that? It matters. It matters a lot. Okay. Three versus one. Still have Sinistra in the back, and I still have Landorus. Problem is, I just doubled stomping tantrum space power. So I. That's like the main issue here. Although actually, you know, it's okay because I, I eat the I, I eat the delicious matcha and then I have two chances. I just I, there's basically I think in a worst case scenario where my Iron Hands dies, which it actually shouldn't die here. Not with this much health left. There's no way I die. Oh, they Terra Blast. I never lose. They forgot about uh, Fake Out doubling the power. Basically, I could go because I can go Rage Powder, Rage Powder, um, and Rage Powder, Rock Slide, Rage Powder, Rock Slide. So my lose condition is missing two Rock Slides in a row, which is a one percent chance. But that's assuming stopping Tantrum KO'd, which I don't think I would have anyway. Wow, okay, that was a hard matchup, so I'm happy to have won it. I think I feel pretty good about my game plans here. Flutter main over fun. Okay, so this is Specs Flutter. I wasn't really expecting this lead, to be honest. Oh, nuts. Uh, okay. Shoot, this is not good. This is a bad start. A lot of damage. I'm not convinced that that's the sod range, though. But here's the problem. They can Tailwind and Terra and do a ton of damage to my Lack. Or, and, or, and probably Oko my Landorus. I doubt I survived that. They have Taunt as well, so it's not like this is even that safe. This might be tunneling too hard in a specific play, to be honest. Okay, they do Terra. One. Okay. Uh, okay, Tailwind. Okay, so I covered the right play here. I think I can say that confidently. No, I mean, I'm drummed. It crit me. Man! Ugh. Dog. That's so bad. Okay. Dog. Threatening fake out here. Interesting. Overfawn switches. Into Flutterman, I guess? Flutterman, okay. Turn two of Tailwind. It's both. Oh, damn Drop doesn't matter. Ogre Punk comes back out, and then it comes down to whether or not the last Pokemon is Urshifu. Okay, hang on. They're walking through here. He's stacking off Iron Hands. Gleam, yep. Okay. So depending on their spread, I Sinistra can survive this, but the roll is not very good. This is turn three, so there's two turns. There's one turn of Talon left after this. They're going for power up. That can miss. Going to Landorus, get the attack drop. Actually, I want, assuming, so the last one is either, 
It all depends on what the last Pokemon is here, to be honest. Oh! Oh my god! Snorlax is healthy! Wait, what? Snorlax made it through with a ton of health left! Look at this! Look at how healthy I am! Oh my god, Sinister clutched by surviving that! Okay, but I'm still... It's a 2 versus 2, and I am not out of the woods yet, because I've already terra it. it it really just depends on what the last Pokemon is here. If it's King Gambit, I'm giving them an attack boost. If it's Urshifu, hey, if it's Urshifu, that's not great. Um, but I think because I, I still have so much health left on Snorlax, I at least have a shot here. The problem is, if it weren't stupid Focus Dash, I'd be fine. But but it is Focus Dash, so I have to. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very close. Technically, because like Bold Fluttermane can live that, I'm always scared. Always. I've never even had a Fluttermane survive it, but I'm always afraid that it will. Surging Strikes, Flax, does 40. I did 40. I should live with like, uh, well, actually like 50 HP. 42. It was 39 42. Dash activates, and somehow I was able to, <laughs> I'm able to win this. That's crazy. That is wild. And you know that the clutch play here was Sinisha surviving that Dazzling Gleam, because otherwise the Ivy Cudgel would have redirected, Lax would go down to that attack, and then... It comes down to Surging Strikes plus Aqua Jet KO as Landorus, which, like, it very well probably... It might. It could. It might. I don't know for sure. But yeah, we're able to win game one kind of... Just miraculously. You know, even into Tornadus, this isn't very good. Oh, Wolf. Oh, Wolf. Oh, no. Yeah, if you... Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's not good. How much does Stomping Tangent even do to this thing? That is good. Uh, yeah, I, I, this was a terrible lead. Yeah, they're Terra Dorking. But I'm, I think they want to Kowtow Kui here. That's my instinct, at least. Show me Kowtow Kui. Don't show me Sucker Punch. Okay. Good damage. You know, there is a way for me to win this. It's just a really, really, really stupid way. Terry's going to come in. Oh, Moonblast. Oh. Uh, I don't think, I can't win this anymore, to be honest. Okay. Wow, okay. Um, I don't think I can win this. Well, like, yeah, it's actually impossible to win from here if they make perfect moves. Because they can Sucker Punch and KO Landorus. Yeah, this was a terrible plan by me. I've just thrown away the game. Um, yeah. The the win condition is them making a mistake. And, and Terra Blast doing infinite damage. I don't think that this is going to work for the record. I just, like, I don't see a way to win without probably Terra Blast critting. Yeah. I mean, like, I didn't have a better option here because Moonblast goes into the lap. So I can switch, but then next turn, I just take... I just, like, I just, like, I, st I still end up in a really bad position because I don't get the healing from Hospitality this turn, so... Okay, chat, here's how I can still win this. <laughs> chat, this is no longer winnable, I'm afraid. We're gonna have to. You're gonna. Ha we have. You have to like. It's important to know when to let go. And now is one of those times because I don't think that plus six lacks and Sinistia can can do anything from this position. <laughs> Especially if my opponent hasn't made mistakes thus far. They've gotten actually every turn perfect um, so far. They could not have played any better this game. The problem is I didn't see any of their last Pokemon. Yeah, the correct move. Yeah, the, the only way they could lose this is if they let me get Trick Room up with by attacking into the Protect with uh, King Gambit. But yeah, that's a good play. Okay, yeah, I got destroyed. Um. I need to think about how the heck I'm going because I should not have. I mean, leaving Iron Hands behind was, I basically said, if they bring King Gambit in the lead, I lose. And that's exactly what happened. So that was a stupid, I don't want to make another, if they lead X, I lose decision. Um, No Landorus means that I can get super destroyed by Ogre Pond. However, I'm willing to take the risk. Oh. Okay, this is very bad. They're going to go for Swords Dance and... Ivy Cudgel. <sighs> oh my god. They called it. That's not good. Okay, yeah, this this game is over. This game is actually over. Uh, because I don't have any health left anymore. Oh, they doubled? I mean, that's just it. I, I lose on the spot, probably. Wow. That's pretty wild. Alright. Here goes nothing. 
I'm down basically two to four, and I've gained nothing. Like, literally nothing. Alright, I mean, that's not good. Ah, oh, really nice play. Really, really nice play. I thought I had them. Man, I really thought I had them. Ah, oh, if I'd gotten that call correct? No, that, that's an amazing play, honestly. I'm really upset about that. I mean, yeah, if they follow me here, it's just... I'm turbo toast. I might have to go for the burn. If they, uh, you know what? I think I actually should go for the burn here. Yeah. Sinistra, I need you to hit both. And I need you to burn this King Gambit. If you burn this King Gambit, we are back in the game. Uh, bad news for the homies. Bruh. No way. It's incredibly tanky. What? Yeah. Like, I wanted to switch to Lax here, but it, it wouldn't actually advance my position, unfortunately. This follow me is just, it's just, it's bulky Ogre Pond too. Like, my, that, that double attack KOs no bulk, but it's clearly very, very bulky. Given how well they're playing, I don't really see a way for me to win this. I could have side Machi Gotcha'd my stride strength sap there and gone back to full HP, but yeah, there's no downside to them doing this. Because I, I lose, I will most likely lose Sinistra here. Yeah, I needed them to make a, they, they honestly played super well. I, they didn't make a single misplay. They, like, and I, because I thought that with Trick Room going up, I had a chance, but they just played it, like, incredibly well. I haven't even dealt with the back Pokemon yet, by the way. I don't think I'm going another one of these. This was a roll. I guess in that case, I should have Machi Gotcha'd, but I thought that the only, like, I needed them to make a mistake, basically. I could have switched to Lax on the double protect turn, like that might have been better. But it still leaves my Sinistra with 1 HP, which I thought that like in order to win the game, I needed to have Sinistra with more than 1 HP. So maybe switching to Lax and going for like protect, like it was probably better than what I did, but I ran out of time to think through things fully, so I kind of just uh, do what I could. Uh, there's no chance that I 1v3 here, by the way, because uh, Urshifu is probably in the back. If it's probably Urshifu and Pretty much, unless it's Tornadus and, yeah, like, there's really nothing I can do here. Barring them making, like, a huge play. Like, it's probably Urshifu and Fluttermane. I mean, it, it's over. There's nothing, there's no way I win this. If I still had my Terra available, there was a chance, but yeah, not like this. The turn they got the sword, like, I forgot about the follow me aspect of this lead. Honestly, an incredible lead. They basically really hurt me by not going for, like, my, uh, not leading Iron Hands. I didn't expect to have such a, oh, they just close to combat. Yeah, I mean, just take the guaranteed kill, right? It depends on what your last Pokemon is. You know, if it's torn. <laughs> if it's torn, uh, there's no way. It's got to be Flutter. It has to be Flutter, right? Oh, I'm faster. Oh, if I knew I was faster, then that was the wrong play for me, but whatever. I, I did know I was faster. I just forgot. Okay, last Pokemon torn. Show me torn. There's no way it's torn. There's actually, like, it would be incredible. And, you know, if it was torn, they wouldn't have close combated. So it's not, I know that it's probably Flutter. Huh? No. Even still, I'm going to take too much damage here. Close combat. There's Sap. Oh, that does a ton of damage. Hold on. I had it. I had the game and I threw. I threw. Oh, my God. I had it. I was like, there's no way they don't protect Torn here, uh, Urshifu here. The Urshifu is faster than the Torn. I had the game. I can't believe it. I just, I guess I needed, I thought for sure they would detect. I can't believe it. I had it and I messed up. I can't believe that. There's speed time? No, they just missed. Wow. You know, that's all right. I, they played really, really well. I can't be upset. That's a crazy way to lose though. I had it. I actually had it. I can't, I can't believe it. Dang.